Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fold a peacock from a dollar. Now this is a great model, it does have some smaller details on it. Hopefully you're able to follow along. Now I have a playlist full of dollar origami tutorials where I show you how to fold everything that I have here and more. I'll make sure to link to that in the description below as well as at the end of the video. Make sure to check that out. Now we're going to start by valley folding the entire bill in half lengthwise. So we'll bring this bottom edge up to the top edge. Just make sure that lines up corner to corner and then crease it all the way across. And then unfold. Next we're going to bring this top right edge into lie along this center crease. And then do the same thing with this part of that edge. Those should just meet in the center. Next we're going to fold those in again, so we'll bring this top right edge into that same center crease. And same with the bottom right. Next we're going to make a mountain fold that runs right through where these edges meet. So we're going to start that mountain fold on this side, just so we make sure it starts in the right place, which is right there. And then we're going to turn it over so we can set this down and then make sure this point lines up in the center. Then we'll crease that all the way down. And then we'll turn it back over. Next, we're going to bring this edge on the left into the edge on the right. And then unfold. Now bring that left edge into that crease that we just made. Now bring the right edge into that crease we made while letting this point flip out. Now unfold all of that. Next we're going to divide each of those sections in half. So we're going to bring this edge on the left into this crease that's running right here. And then unfold. Now we'll bring that same edge into the first crease. And then unfold that. Next, we'll take this mountain fold that we have. Now we're going to bring that over to this crease right here, which is now two from the edge. So one, two. And then unfold. Next, we'll bring that same mountain fold into that crease that's closest to it. unfold again. Next we're going to turn the whole thing over 
And we're going to make pleat folds that go all the way up this direction. So we'll start by bringing this edge on the left into the very first crease. And then with that first crease, we're going to mountain fold that. And then we're going to bring that mountain fold into the very first crease. Then we'll repeat that again, just form that mountain fold and bring it into the next crease. And do that again. And again, all the way out to the final crease. fold again and this one is a valley fold but we'll still fold up to that next crease and then we'll turn that over and turn that mountain fold into a valley fold on this side next we're going to valley fold this whole thing in half Now we're going to make an inside reverse fold. So we're gonna swing this point up through here. And there's not an exact reference for this, this just affects how large the body is. But we're just swinging that point up through the center and then you close it back up. Just about there. Again, it's not an exact reference. We'll just fold it something like that. Next, we're gonna make one more inside reverse fold to form the beak. So swing that point down through the center. And then close it up. Now we're going to start to just open these up so it does it a little naturally. I like to make small little creases right here. They're not full creases, but just so it will tend to open itself up naturally there. And now we're gonna close that back up. We're gonna look right in the center where these edges meet each other. We'll look at this from the back. So you'll see there's just single layers on their own here. Now we need to isolate the part where those layers are. And then we're going to valley fold those layers together as one. Now it's a really small detail, so it's hard to show. And then to lock it in place better than that, we'll need to valley fold those over each other again. I like to do this with tweezers take those layers together and then fold it over again then once you have it decently creased you can fold all the layers together and now they should be locked in place 
As long as you don't tug too hard, they should stay there. I like to hold those layers together and then push all the pleats out on both sides. And it should look something like that. Now we are all done. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.